California's peak wildfire season starting off in a big way. More than 10,000 acres burned with homes threatened, flames and smoke filling the sky. ABC's Melissa Adon is in Los Angeles with more. Melissa, good morning. This is a big deal. Good morning, Gio. We are monitoring the Corral Fire. It is a major fire growing in Northern California. This is in the town of Terry in a rural community. Cal Fire confirming it is about more than 12,000 acres that have burned. Fire crews have about 15% contained. Now evacuations are underway. There's also a highway portion of I-580 shut down as crews work to battle this blaze. Fire crews containing this at 15%. Two firefighters were in and are being treated at a hospital dealing with mild to moderate burns. Now this is a fast moving wind driven grass fire in a mainly rural area. The Cal Fire Battalion chief in San Joaquin County sharing how high grass is fueling this fire and they are battling gusty conditions with gusts clocking in at about 40 miles per hour. This as fire crews are just hoping for a break in the winds. Of course, this area here, mostly rural east of San Francisco in San Joaquin County. But look, Whit, this is a reminder that despite this wet season that we've been having out here out west and in California, it is clear that the threat of wildfires is among us. And it is such an important time and a reminder to have that go bag ready to go. Be prepared in case of an emergency. And this, of course, as we're expecting even warmer temperatures in the coming days with absolutely just getting into those summer months. Melissa, thank you. That wildfire spreading in hot, dry, windy conditions, as Melissa just noted. Let's get right to ABC Samara Theodore and looking at the weather picture here. Samara, good morning. Good morning. Whit. Yeah, the improvements are not coming anytime soon. So here we have the Coral Fire burning just south of Tracy. Winds are going to gust up to 40 miles per hour today. Look at the temperatures, 85 degrees today. They're anticipated to hit about 100 degrees by Tuesday, and that's when that excessive heat Watch goes into effect from Reading all the way down to Afton. We also have a heat advisory that will begin a little bit closer to the coastline. We do ex expect the excessive heat watch to expand then by the middle of the week to Las Vegas, Phoenix, and Tucson. Speaking of Las Vegas, Las Vegas normally hits 110 degrees by July. They could be looking at hitting 111 by Thursday. That will be the earliest on record. Triple digits anticipated in Palm Springs and Phoenix as well. And very quickly, I'll wrap with this. The Central Prediction, uh, the Climate Prediction Center is anticipating temperatures to remain above normal out west as we head into next weekend. So no relief in sight. Janae? Oh, none at all, Samara. Thank you for that.